This is Energy Bubbles 101, where you will learn to use your stress to find your flow, create great relationships, and thrive. All positive change starts as an inside job. But before we can use our stress to find our flow, we need to look at what's going on inside and learn a little bit more about the opposite of stress. The opposite of stress is flow. That great top of the world feeling where you feel like all is well with you and all is well with the world and life. It's a feeling that we have sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes when we're in our flow, we can easily set our course in the direction of our goals and move towards it. And sometimes it feels like those goals are moving towards us too. And there's other times where we feel stress, but it doesn't last a really long time, and we can still use it to get back to our flow and move forward in the direction of our desires. This is when we naturally use our energy bubble, and we do this all the time. Or at least most of the times. There are times in each of our lives where we misuse our stress in different ways. When we misuse our stress, we go in a different direction, off the path to our goals, and find ourselves in experiences and in places we'd rather not be. This too is normal human stuff, and anytime you become aware, that means you're ready to reboot and find a new way. This video will help. But before we learn all that, it's time to understand where it all begins and take a look inside. First of all, did you know that you have an energy bubble, an emotional body that surrounds you? Your energy bubble is like the blanket of you. It's that feeling your friends and family miss when you're away. Inside your energy bubble are all human traits, all human thoughts, and all human feelings. But we each have a different mix of these personality, gifts, strengths, experiences, desires, and feelings. The things that we exercise the most will become our strongest. The thoughts that we exercise the most and think the most become our strongest thoughts. Understanding that your energy bubble surrounds you explains why when you walk into a room where people are stressed, you can just feel it. Or why some people feel so comfortable to be around. Strong bubble boundaries let love flow in and out, around and through your energy bubble. You can also send love from yourself back to yourself within your energy bubble. You can always choose to stop or start this flow of love. Weak bubble boundaries let things other than love in and out of your bubbles. Heavy emotions like anger, frustration can leave your bubble or someone else's bubble and enter yours. This too is normal human stuff. Strong energy bubble boundaries allows you to decide what you are going to allow in your bubble. We can do this by hearing things from the outside or noticing challenges outside of us and stopping for a minute, remembering your bubble and asking yourself, what do I choose to believe? and getting back to your heart and soul's desires. Once you're clear on what you want and what's true for you, you can choose to either let other people's heavy feelings and thoughts stay in their bubble and realize that their thoughts is not true, it's just the thoughts they're choosing to exercise. Because in reality, if someone is telling you you can't and it doesn't feel true to you, they're just showing you their cards the thoughts they're choosing to exercise. You can let loving thoughts and feelings in through your bubble. And if, even if someone outside of you has really strong, heavy feelings and they don't stay contained in their space, you can allow them to pass, to just simply pass right through you or pass by instead of holding on to them and letting them be held in your space. We can make our energy bubbles big. We do this many times when we're feeling really good and we can really feel our heart and we're wishing well-being on the whole world. 
we can also make our energy bubble small and tight around us. We do this many times when we're scared so that we can protect ourselves and feel safe. Take a deep breath right now, if you will. You'll notice as you breathe that you'll be able to feel your energy bubble a little bit more. And just check in, what size is your bubble right now? We can choose to put our energy bubbles down and feel one with everyone and everything. Sometimes it feels so good to do this. And other times, living with our energy bubbles down can make it feel like we're being tossed around by life. If you find yourself in this situation, you can always remember that you do have an energy bubble and take a nice deep breath and put that energy bubble back around you. You can even remember you have a flow and begin to set your rudder so you can steer yourself in the direction of where you'd like to go next anytime you find yourself in a place where you would rather not be. The flow of love from the source of unconditional love streams through you at the center of your energy bubble. We each have a different gift in this flow, a different perspective of life in this flow, and we each have a different definition of this flow and experience. That's part of the gift of who we are. There are many different words to describe this flow of love from the source of unconditional love. We stay open and in our flow when we're thinking one of our five basic flow thoughts and they're our strongest thoughts. Our five basic flow thoughts are I am, I can, I know, I have, and I want. When these thoughts are our strongest thoughts, they'll feel like a magical what if is preceding them. It'll feel good and have a lot of energy and flow. We will also stay open to our flow when our thoughts, the thoughts we're thinking, are in line with our heart and soul's desires. So that means sometimes we can think, I can't, and I want to do something else, or I'm not, but I am. So both thoughts work in our flow. It's which ones are in line with our heart and soul's desires. You'll know when you feel like you're in your flow. The third way we stay open to our flow is when our perception of a situation is in line with the truth. You'll know you're in your flow when you're feeling light feeling thoughts like joy, happiness, contentment, bliss, confidence, creativity. We all step out of our flow sometimes. Sometimes we step out of our flow and do too much and get busy, busy, busy and get a lot done, but it's not fulfilling and it doesn't feel like it takes us on the road to our desires. Sometimes we don't feel our flow because we block it with fear. And sometimes we experience being out of our flow when we just sit and wait for life to magically happen to us. Many times we feel our flow when we're doing the things we want to do and we're being who we want to be. For example, have you ever gone on a walk and instead of being calm, grateful, and present, you're worried, you're thinking about things, and you're angry? Our flow is the best when we're being who we want to be and doing what we want to do. And this can start with the choice by simply asking ourselves, who do I want to be when I do this activity? The heavy feeling energy of stress can be contained in our energy bubble. That's why sometimes people say they feel like they have a cloud hanging over their head. It's not in their body, it's in their energy bubble. And sometimes we can contain that heavy feeling energy actually in our physical body. That's why sometimes people say that person is really a pain in the neck. So our heavy thoughts can start with our own thoughts, which will bring us out of our flow. As soon as you notice being out of your flow, you can ask yourself, what do I want? You can find a flow question. It will bring you back to your heart and soul's desires and help you find the what if I can magical thoughts so you can move again down the road to your desires. But when we think heavy thoughts and we focus on them, more stress thoughts will come. And then we often start to take action to try to get ourselves out of feeling all this stress. 
Actions taken from stressful thoughts out of our flow will be actions that appoint us off the road to our desires. It'll prove I can't to be true. It'll prove our thoughts to be true. But it won't take us to where we want to go. And it won't feel fulfilling. That's when more and more heavy feelings come along. So our feelings are really coming from our thoughts. And if we look at our thoughts, we can always choose to find a better feeling thought. That's the gift of heavy feelings. The gift of light feelings are just here for us to enjoy. So if you find yourself on that bumper off the road to your desires, like when you're in a car and you're coming to a stop sign, if you're not straight on the road, the bumps in the road will make a noise to alarm you to get back on the road and to pay attention and maybe to stop because danger's ahead. That's what our heavy feelings are about. So if you find yourself riding that rail and the alarms are going off and you ignore them and you don't use them to steer yourself back to your heart, to your desires, your real desires, it's still okay. It's normal human stuff. You'll be feeling scared, frustrated, overwhelmed. And if you still forget to turn back to yourself, you'll start to feel feelings like depressed, All of our feelings are a gift, each and every one, and as soon as we accept them, we can start to use them to get back to our heart and soul's desires and back to our goals. Depression, the gift of depression, is a time when everything inside you says, that does it, I am not moving forward any longer, I need to do something differently this time. And one of the things you can do differently is decide right now to control only the things you can control. And the most important thing to control is your choice. Your choice of responses to stress and success. Your choices of thoughts and where you're going to dwell in your imagination. And your choices of actions. When you're going to take them, when you're going to take an outside action or an inside action, These are three things we can control. In the moment, if you find yourself not being able to make a choice, it's okay. Because whenever you find it, you can choose to respond by accepting where you're at instead of fighting it or fleeing from it. And from that acceptance, you can then notice your thoughts and choose to move towards lighter feeling thoughts and desires. You can notice your thoughts in your imagination And if you find yourself focusing on the past, present, or future hurts and fears, you can stop and get back on the road by choosing past, present, and future blessings, possibilities, and clearer desires. And if your actions are not causing what you'd like, if your actions do not feel good, you can always stop and choose love and find love within you first. You can stop and find something you'd like to create and construct and do differently instead of continuing actions that are causing destruction. You can choose actions that are going to create a solution instead of focusing on fixing a problem. And you can choose actions that are inspired change instead of automatically resorting to old habits that are no longer working. These are some things that you can control. You can control your choice of how you're going to respond to what is. If it's great, accept it. If it's rough, accept it. Then you can get back to the inside job that will take you forward in a life you want to live. In your next Energy Bubbles 101 education videos, you will learn the eight basic ways we misuse stress. You'll learn the three fundamental relationships we all have and the four primary relationship scenarios that we deal with all the time, every day. In the second section of your Energy Bubbles 101 videos, you will find instruction videos where you will learn how to build healthy habits of responding to your own stress so that when you go off the road, when you get out of your flow, you will know how to get yourself back sooner so you can thrive. You will learn how to respond to other stress so you can build great relationships. 
and you will learn tools, exercises, and simple strategies step-by-step on how to move yourself forward and live your authentic life with the people you love. Because life will have challenges, but they do not have to last so long or be so hard. These videos will help. One of life's most fulfilling rewards of growing and learning personally is to be with other people, especially when they're in their flow. Where you have a great idea and perspective, they have a great idea and unique different perspective, and together you experience things in new, wonderful, magical ways. Please join me in the next video.